All right, so we're gonna do a little video, uh, instructional video on how to do one of these signs. So what you're gonna do, um, you're gonna be getting your raw board. You're gonna have a stencil that you're gonna be placing on the board, but before that, you need to paint or stain your board. Uh, I'm gonna paint this one. So I'm just gonna give you a quick demonstration of how to paint this and then um, we'll move on. So to me, I feel like the easiest thing to do is probably the sides first. So I'm just gonna paint these sides real quick. And then after that, I will move on, move on to the top. What I like to do when I do the top is paint in the same direction that the lines are going on the board. So you see the lines going left to right here, I'm gonna paint in that direction left to right. If they were going up and down, I would paint up and down like this. You wanna kinda of do your uh, brush strokes in the same direction the whole way uh, going with the lines on your board. Okay, so once you get your board painted or stained and it's dry, then you're gonna use this little piece of sandpaper that I'm gonna include with your kit. You're gonna just lightly sand the top of your board only, and the only reason we're doing this is to help make your stencil stick well. Um, so I'm gonna demonstrate how to do that. This is a dark blue board, and on dark blue paint colors, sometimes the sanding makes the board look a little bit dusty or um, changes the color of it a little bit, but I'll show you how to wipe that off. It's just dust. So we're gonna go back and forth like this. Just apply a little bit of pressure. Go all the way up, go all the way down. That's pretty much it. And as you can see, it kind of turned it a little bit gray. I have here a damp paper towel. We're just gonna take this and just wipe it off a little bit. And that's gonna just remove all of that dust. And it'll take it back down to the nice dark color that you had before. Okay, once you have sanded your board, you are ready to start applying the stencil. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna separate the stencil so that when you get it separated, you get blue and white. So it should look like this when you separate it. There's three layers here. If you separate it and you get white and clear, you need to push your layers back together and start over because you've got the wrong two layers separated. Flip your stencil upside down so that you have the squares on top and you wanna Bend this blue piece right back and hold it down flat and just peel it back. Go slow. If you happen to find a couple of pieces of your stencil are sticking to the blue here, you need to pinch it down right where it's pulling up and keep going. When you pull this off, it should be completely blue with no white stencil on it. If there's any white pieces on this, you need to find out where they were supposed to go on your stencil and stick them back on there, sticky side up. All right, now we're gonna apply this to your board. It's sticky. So we're gonna place it where we need it to go. Try not to set it down too much, like try not to press it down. It is gonna stick pretty well, so once you get it where you want it, then you wanna press it down like this. There's gonna be some bubbles there. You don't need to worry about the bubbles right now. We just want it to stick. Rub it down and get it stuck. And then we'll move on to the next step, which is to take the top clear layer off. Okay, so now we're gonna take the top clear layer off. This is probably the hardest part of the whole process. You wanna scrape it with your fingernail with the edge to get it started. Once you get it started like this, then the best thing to do is try to get the shortest edge all the way off. So hold it in place, hold the stencil in place with your thumb and then just peel back lightly to get it all started. And then you can roll it right down, hold it right down on the board with your fingers Hold your hand in place on the stencil above it and just keep rolling it back like this. Try to avoid doing this. Don't pull it like this because you're gonna be pulling your stencil off the board when you do that and that's gonna make it harder for you to get this off. So just roll it right back on the board like this. Anything that starts to peel up, you can hold it right in place with your other hand. So like this right here, starting to pull up. I need that to stay down on the board. So I'm gonna push it right back down 
I can even hold it in place with my finger while I'm pulling. So you want everything to stay down on your board. This process does take a few minutes sometimes. You do have to be patient. You don't wanna to go too fast with this part. Okay, so after you get your plastic all off your stencil, you wanna, um, don't crumple it up in a ball, we're gonna use it again. As you can see on my stencil here, the edges of my board are not covered by the stencil. So when I start to paint my design on here, it might be easy for me to get off the, the stencil and get off onto the background board and I don't want any paint over here. So what I do is I take some of this plastic and I just cut it into strips. And I lay it along the edge wherever I need it to protect the background so that I don't get paint where I don't want it. Now that we've got our stencil applied, we're gonna start painting. I always tell everybody the best thing you can do is use very little paint. So get a little bit of paint on your brush and then unload it a little bit on the paper so that you don't have quite so much paint on your brush at one time. And you wanna just lightly paint your design. You wanna do, one coat is usually sufficient. I feel like um, that's my own personal opinion. I usually generally stick with one coat. Um, if you really feel like you need a second coat, then let your first coat dry a little bit and then you can go over it a second time with one more coat of paint. Every time you reload your brush, unload it on your paper. You wanna keep your paint thin. Too much paint will run underneath your stencil and cause you a lot of problems. Now that our sign is dry and it's all painted, we're ready to take the stencil off. So I'm gonna just start peeling everything off. Start with these side pieces. And it doesn't matter what part of the stencil you start with, you can just start pulling it off. It's not gonna take your paint off. There are gonna be parts of your vinyl that are gonna stay on the board and that's where this little tool comes in, which I will be sending you with your kit also. It is very sharp, so parents, I would really highly recommend that you do this part with um, peeling out the pieces of vinyl and not let your children play with this tool. The end of it is extremely sharp. So as you can see, it looks kind of messy right now. We're gonna start taking out all the other little pieces of vinyl that are stuck in here. So what you wanna do is you wanna just grab the very edge of the vinyl and pull it up and then you can peel it back the rest of the way with your fingers. And we're just gonna go through, pick out all of these pieces and then I'll show you the big reveal. Here's the finished product. We're all done. We used one coat. So as you can see, one coat does a great job of covering. You don't need a lot of paint to do these. So enjoy your kit. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. I will be happy to walk you through any problems you might have um, and we'll troubleshoot. So have fun.